Well, Craig, next season Rangers under 20s will embark on a brand new games programme. Tell us what the thinking is behind it. It's innovative, Nick. It's different. It's, it's designed to challenge our young players. I think we've been on with that for a long time, at challenging our players and taking them out of the comfort zone. So what will basically happen is we won't enter the SPFL Development League next year and instead we'll create a games programme where we play the best clubs in England, the best clubs in Europe. And it's really designed to deal with the transition from sort of 17 through to sort of first team, which is a massive issue for Scottish football. And uh, we're excited by it, it's something we've worked on for over a year. And we think it's this club hopefully leading the way in terms of player development at that age and stage. We'll play the best premiership clubs, we'll play the best clubs throughout Europe. We'll play Spanish teams, Italian teams, uh, basically all over Europe. And what we're trying to do is say, our young Scottish players at the moment, at age 17, we think are as good as the best players in these nations. However, what we're then going to do is take them and challenge them, playing them on a weekly basis. It'll be a struggle initially, but I think to play uh, you know, Manchester United, Manchester City, Southampton, all these clubs on a, on a regular basis and then go and play Sporting Lisbon, Leipzig, teams like that, it'll take our Rangers players right out of their comfort zone and it's a really innovative, innovative and different project. We must play uh, first team players as quickly as we can, they must play against men, so what we'll do is we'll go and play three of the top European teams at their own age group, maybe week one, week two, week three in the month, and the fourth week in the month we'll go and play Annan or Stenhouse Muir or somebody who we've spoken to, and we'll encourage Rangers fans to be there, we'll get a Rangers crowd, we'll put a bit of pressure on them, and, uh, it's a, and again they'll get the experience of playing as men, which they're going to need if they're going to make it to Rangers first team. If you think about it, it's a, it's a best v best experience, we're playing all the top clubs in Europe, so we're playing almost every Champions League team. So I mean, I'm buzzing and I'm sure all the boys are so excited to play because I mean, we want we want a best v best experience at this age. I mean, we're all we're, we're under 19s, we're under 20s. So I think it'll be it'll be good for the development and the development of every player in the under 20s. Eh? You talk about the, the best v best situation. Obviously, great to get that as a team level, but on a personal level, testing yourself against you know the best midfielders that there are in Europe at your age group. Mm-hmm. Uh, Aye, it'll be good, it'll be good because we'll, we'll be playing against the top European players, so it'll be international players for all over the globe. So on a personal level it'll be good because it'll, it'll help my development, I'll be able to learn from them and I'll be able to compete with them, I'll be able to challenge them and challenge myself and that's exactly what I want to do. Even just travelling to, to cities you've not been to before, must be a great life experience as well? It's, it's a brilliant life experience, you know what I mean, You're, we're, we're travelling all over the globe and we're playing against the best teams and we're experiencing it with we're, we're pals in, our, in, in the same team. So we're, we're all experiencing it together and hopefully we can, we can, we can take it back and we can, we can improve and we can work on stuff back here in Scotland. And another step on the road to hopefully becoming a first team regular? Definitely, definitely. It'll be, it'll be a great, great experience and hopefully we'll come back, we'll work, we'll, we'll push on with the first team. It'll help us definitely get, get round with the first team and compete for places in the first team because if, if you're working hard then the, the gaffer's the type of guy to, to put you in, definitely. If you're working hard and you're motivated then you, you'll, get, you'll get your chance. Yeah, I mean I think with this project, hopefully if we're playing, if it's out under 19s or 20s playing against say Manchester City or playing against Barcelona or somebody like that, we can maybe get the game at Ibrox or a different stadium and if we've got a Rangers crowd coming along, we, we must replicate as best we can that first team environment for them and I think hopefully this project uh, will do that. I was in the committee for Project Brave and two of the key objectives that came out of that was firstly that clubs must be innovative in terms of how we develop young players. The starting point here is we must recognise that, that this country and indeed us as a club, we've done okay at youth development but we're not leaders in the field. So if we're going to change what we do and get a better player playing for the Scotland national team but importantly for us a better player playing for Rangers first team we must be brave enough to change what we do so hopefully the club is showing that innovation the second I mean the second real bit that came out of Project Brave was the transition from 17s to 21s you look at the Scotland uh, under 17 group they've just played I think nine games and lost one to get to almost the quarter final of the European Championships we went away and we played some top top academies and I look at our boys at 17 I'm convinced at 15, 16, 17 I'm convinced they're as good as other nations but what we can't do is expect that we, we, we do the same thing done for a number of years, maybe work in the development league for two or three years and think we're going to produce a top, top player. We must do something different and that's where this challenge and innovation. It's been brave from our club and the SPFL have backed us, Malky Mackay at the SFA has backed us and importantly the Rangers board have backed us because uh, developing young players is now at the heart of what we're trying to do at the club. What we'll do is we'll, we'll undertake this project, we'll look at the data, we'll look at how the players develop, we'll take responses from the players, from the coaches, and if it proves to be successful then we'll report that back to the SFA and the SPFL. And I think for Scottish football we must build something like this, this best v best challenge, into the programme domestically to make sure our young Scottish players are getting pushed in a way that they never have been before.
I mean, the objective here is we want to get back to the Champions League. And if we're going to produce yeah. young players that are going to play at that level, they shouldn't be playing against the top player in Europe for the first time when they're out in the Rangers jersey in the Champions League at Ibrox. We should be equipping them to say, do you know what, I've played against them two or three times, I've played against these top players at all the other clubs, and therefore they'll be much more equipped to hopefully win this club's back where we believe it can go to go and play in Rangers first team. It's a new challenge for all of us. And obviously we're experiencing a lot of different stadiums as well. We're not just playing at the same stadiums week in, week out that we've done for years. So that's no, a great challenge and it'll be some great players we play against. Yeah, very lucky for you boys, that all of you boys being at Rangers and Rangers are taking the lead on this. Yeah, definitely. I think we'll the first, be one of the first clubs to do it. So it's a very, very good idea. Um, I believe it will help us get better a lot quicker than just doing the same things we can make out, as I say, for years. We play the same teams for years, you know what I mean? So it's the same league schedules and the same cup schedules, so I think it's a great idea, yeah. What to do, though, you'll still get that experience of Scottish football playing against League 1 and League 2 teams and also in the Youth Cup, etc? Of course, um, but the difference is we're playing first teams this time. We're not just going to a youth development level, we're not just going to an under-20s team. We're actually going to challenge ourselves and play a first team in Scotland this time instead of just playing the regular under-20s match. We're two years into the project now, Nick, and I think that we changed the Children's Academy, we got a partnership with Corver, we introduced futsal, we introduced multi-sport, things like that. We then, in the Intermediate Academy, opened up a schools programme where we now have 30 Rangers players going, getting 16 hours of contact time a week. And then when we get to sort of under-17, we've done quite a bit of best v best games and challenged ourselves, and that let us know where we were at. So I think from us now, if you look at the pathway from the bottom to the top, this next bit in terms of the transition to the first team is going to be the critical bit in taking these players who are getting better and better through the Children's Academy, the Intermediate Academy, the Senior Academy, and now saying, right, let's really challenge them and push them right on towards the first team.